Bitcoin reclaims the very important 41k level, which is the upper level of the range that we're already in for over two months, and it lost it again straight after that. In this video, we're going to talk about the fake out that just happened on Bitcoin. We're also going to talk about Ethereum because in two days, the London hard fork will happen and everyone is basically looking at that. The price of Ethereum is going up because of that as well. So that is what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's dive into it. Hey there everyone, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Quentin. If you're new here, make sure to be subscribed and also please hit the like button if you think it was a great video. Now, let's start with having a look here at CoinGecko to see what is going on in the market. Well, basically, the market is down a little bit in the last 24 hours, but it was looking so good, guys, and we will see that later on when we're going to have a look at the Bitcoin chart. It was looking so good. It looked like Bitcoin was going to flip the 41k level, but it fell through it. It didn't provide enough support. So Bitcoin is down 5.4% in the last 24 hours. What is remarkable here is that the altcoins, of course, under the lead of Ethereum, are actually outperforming Bitcoin. So they are going down less than Bitcoin. Ethereum is down 0.1%. That means that they're outperforming Bitcoin with 5.3% just in the last 24 hours. In the last seven days, it is also outperforming Bitcoin. If we're having a look to the rest of the large caps, we see a pretty similar view. So almost all of them, or actually all of them, are outperforming Bitcoin. So they're going up in Bitcoin value, but most of them are still down in USD value. Now, the hype of the last few weeks was, of course, NFTs, and that hype is still going on. We see that, for example, the CryptoPunks, their prices are rapidly increasing right now. We see new NFT projects still scoring like very well uh, among the crypto community, among crypto investors. But let's have a look at the list here with the best NFT projects. In the last seven days, it is really cooling down price wise. There are still some small caps that are performing very well. So the biggest ones are going down a bit in the last seven days. So they are cooling down. Uh, some of them are still up in green, but nothing too impressive. Then we have some smaller ones that are actually outperforming quite a lot compared to the rest of the market. Here, Illuvium is one that is doing very well. Luxo token is doing very well. We see some more here that are actually performing really, really great. But overall, it's like the small caps, some of the small caps, NFT small caps that are outperforming uh, quite well. Here we see Exceed Me up 51.5%, one of the tokens that I personally hold because I'm a gamer myself. I play CSGO already for 10 years. Uh, and of course, they have like um, a platform on which you can play and earn. They also just announced that they will uh, launch on Polygon, so that's pretty cool as well. So massive support for Exceed Me, still holding my Exceed Me tokens as well. Truly believe in what they're doing. Um, especially because it's needed in the crypt in the in the CS:GO space. Sorry. So uh, yeah, pretty cool to see them going up with 51.5% in the last seven days. Now, guys, let's have a look at the Bitcoin chart. This is how it looks like. I discussed with you guys the two most likely scenarios, and I actually said that the one uh, which we would see another rejection at 41k and go back towards 35k is, in my opinion, the one. Uh, with the highest chance of like playing out more or less. So a flip of 41k would be pretty early in my opinion. I still think it is possible, but the chance is not too high in my opinion because it doesn't look too weak. I think it still needs a little bit of more testing before it is really going to break. So I'd rather think that the scenario of flipping 41k and going further up from there and breaking the range in which we're already since the 19th of May, um, I don't think it will happen right now. And the market is also um, making up its mind because it is not very very clear what is going to happen next now because there are two scenarios right now in my opinion 
The first one is that this is going to play out as I expected this already uh, last week, as I told you guys, that it would go back towards 35k. But it's also possible that we are going to find support here on 39 points, let's say 39.2, 39.3. This looks like a pretty small support level and I would be surprised if that would hold and 41k would not hold because you would expect like the big players if we break or actually we did break um, uh, 41k uh, you would think that they would provide support here at 41k it didn't happen so I would be surprised if the big players in the crypto space should not provide support at 41k but they do at 39.2 or 39.3 it's possible there's a little bit of support there but I rather don't think it is going to happen. So uh, we'll see about that. I would be surprised if it really would happen. So if that would provide support and we go further up, it's possible like something like this would play out uh, and then we flip it again and this time successfully, it's possible. But I still stick to the scenario which I pointed out last week. Um, I talked about it when it was like a 30, uh, 38K. I said, probably we will test like 41K, maybe a fake out, the fake out happened. Um, but I, I actually think that we go back towards 35k before trying again at 41k here maybe later on this month maybe we're going to see like another month of ranging between a 30k and 40k and i even think we will see like ranging between 35k and 41k here so i don't think we will see like the lower end of the range anymore uh before we really see like a breakout um so i think this is possible for the next few weeks before we're going to break out truly break out of the range and continue our way up this is actually the scenario that i already talked about since the end of may i talked about it about like ranging between these two levels for like months and i would expect a breakout to happen in september i already said that since the end of may i stick to that and right now it seems more and more likely that this is going to play out exactly as i talked about at the end of may so we will see about that but i think this is still the most likely scenario the only thing that could happen is that we bounce or have enough support at 39.3 or 39.2k and go uh, again above 41k and continue our way up this can still happen but i think the chances are still higher that we will see this scenario playing out over the next few weeks now i want to discuss ethereum as well because look at bitcoin you see that bitcoin had like a very good streak of green candles here one red here and then three red in a row well ethereum is actually doing even better ethereum is currently printing its 13th green daily candle in a row that is absolutely insane I don't remember the last time that I saw like 13 daily green candles in a row for a, a big cap such as Ethereum. That is really an insane performance. If you guys know another streak like this or a bigger one, let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe this is even a record for crypto. I don't know. I'm not going to figure that out um, precisely to see like the longest streaks, etc. But it's probably close to that because 13 in a row, that's very unique. Of course, this is because of anticipation um, that the London hard fork will happen in two days. So I expect this streak to probably end maybe tomorrow or the day after because there is like a lot of anticipation right now. But we know that in crypto, it often happens that you see like a buy the rumor, sell the news price action. So they're anticipating on the London hard fork with, of course, the very important EIP 1559 the new fee structure that will be implemented but i think when it's really going to happen in two days that the price will go down that some traders will take profits out of their position so it's very likely that we will see like a red candle um, probably in two days or maybe even tomorrow already but still it looks really good and if we're having a look at the pattern of ethereum we see that this is a very very important trend line here it has been moving already since that trend line for one and a half years. So it has been moving above and underneath that uh, trend line right here. Right now we are under that trend line, but um, I think we have a very good chance to go retest that trend line in the coming weeks 
and months, maybe even reclaim trend line and move above it again. What we see in terms of a pattern is that we're printing a big W here. And of course the W is a very bullish pattern. So I expect Ethereum to at least go towards 2,900 or probably above that and retest this trend line right here in the coming weeks. I hope that this W is going to play out. That would be very good news. Then we will probably see something like this uh, play out in the coming weeks. Uh, and then from September onwards or so, together with Bitcoin, we will probably see like a breakout and go back towards all time highs. I wouldn't be surprised if this all would happen very quickly, not only for Bitcoin, but also for Ethereum and the other altcoins so that a lot of the retail investors that went out of their positions a few months ago because of fear would totally miss out of uh, on this entire run back up towards uh, previous all time highs. So something like this is actually likely in my opinion. Um, and hopefully this W pattern is going to play out. This is a very bullish pattern and something like this would be like very likely in my opinion. Now, the very last thing I want to show you is the Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance is still um, going up overall. So the trend for the Bitcoin dominance is still up as you can see right here. I still expect it at some point to hit 52% even though that altcoins are looking stronger than I would expect in accumulation range like we're seeing right now. We see that especially because of Ethereum, uh, we see that the other altcoins are also doing well. But if Ethereum is going to print like a red candle, it's possible that the Bitcoin dominance is going up again from that point when the anticipation on um, the London hard fork in two days will end, then we might see the Bitcoin dominance grind up again, uh, flip the 50% level and go towards like 52%. From that point onwards, I think we will break down again because I think this will provide enough resistance so that we will break this trend line and continue towards the yearly lows, which are at 40%. I expect a new alt season to occur still somewhere this year, maybe the last month of the year, December or so, but I think it will be a very violent alt season. Maybe we can even take out like the yearly lows here um, and then go lower. I think towards the end of the cycle, because I do still believe that we didn't see the top of the cycle, but towards the end of the cycle, I think we will see like a new low here and maybe even a new all time low, which is right now at 35%. And it's possible that we will see it go lower at the end of the cycle. Of course, it will have like more ups and downs than I drew right here. So something like this can also happen. Uh, but I think the point is that we will probably see like the altcoin dominance rise and the Bitcoin dominance uh, fall down um, for the rest of this cycle. But I still think it will first recover towards 52%. But we will see about that. I think it still depends strongly on how strong Ethereum will be. If Ethereum is going to be very strong, then I expect the Bitcoin dominance to not even hit 52%. Maybe 50% is going to be like the resistance the, that actually will start like the reversal of the Bitcoin dominance down again. Um, or if Ethereum is showing some weakness after the anticipation on the London hard fork, then it's possible that we will see it go back towards 52%. But I think overall this year, Ethereum is looking very strong. So I still expect something like this to play out, whether this is at 52% or at 50%, I expect a breakdown towards the yearly lows again later on this year. All right, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give it a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to be subscribed and I see you next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.